In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my most addictive fragrances right now. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, in today's video, we'll be talking about my most addictive fragrances right now. I do these videos monthly, and in them, I share with you the fragrances that I have not been able to get enough of. So whether that means I haven't been able to stop wearing them, or I haven't been able to stop just sniffing them, or thinking about wearing them, they all count. I limit these videos to only five fragrances, and also I don't talk about fragrances that I've gotten within the last month because I feel like it's only natural that if they're brand new, of course I want to wear them, of course I want to sniff them. So all of these fragrances I've had at least a month, and I just cannot get enough. So let's go ahead and get into these fragrances. These are in no particular order. I'm just pulling them out of my little basket here. But the first one that I have is from the brand Maison Crevelli, and this is Iris Malikan. So this fragrance I've actually had for a while, but there has been something happening with me that I have been wanting to wear a ton. Now, it may not look like I've wanted to wear it a ton, but this is the large bottle. And um, this fragrance is pretty strong. It's also not really a fragrance that I think of when I think of hot weather. So to me, this fragrance is a iris scent, obviously, but it, it gives a little bit of that powderiness, but not a ton. To me, this explores more of that kind of leathery, buttery side of iris. So in addition to the iris, I do feel like there's something like deep and woody in this fragrance. It kind of smells like it could be a sandalwood because it also kind of has that creamy aspect, but I'm not sure if that's also coming from the iris. But for me, what I get is that beautiful purple floral mixed with this deep, dark woodiness and like a leathery touch. Not straight leather, but a leathery touch. There is something so addictive about this fragrance. And this is one that when I got it, I wasn't sold on it. Like I remember getting it because I found it for a good deal. I remember Demi Rawling had raved about it. And when I saw it for a good deal, I ordered it blindly. And then when I got it, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know about it. But y'all, I don't know what's changed. I don't know what's changed, but there is something in this that is making me love it. I've had this for probably over a year, <laughs> but over the last month, I've just been really wanting to smell like this. I've worn it to bed. I'm, I wouldn't wear this out in the middle of the hot day right now because it's just too hot and I feel like this is too powerful. But I have worn this to bed and I have worn it on days when I've just been around my house and I cannot get enough. It smells amazing. It lasts a long time and it's interesting, y'all. So if you are, like right now, I kind of feel like I'm having this moment with Iris. If you are having a moment with Iris as well, you definitely should get your nose on this. It may not be the best time for this fragrance, but honestly, I've been thoroughly enjoying it. So again, that is Iris Malikan from Maison Crevelli. This next fragrance is from the brand Thamine and this is called Blue Heart. So this fragrance is gorgeous. It is a saffron scent i would say mainly so you get that kind of beautiful sweet spiciness but you also have this coconut note and the coconut in here smells like just the meat of a coconut it smells quite natural but it definitely provides something like it gives that like creaminess but it doesn't smell fake it doesn't smell synthetic so if you're not a fan of a lot of coconut scents i don't want you to rule this out because the coconut in this is different it's different than what you're gonna smell at bath and body works is different than Victoria's Secret. It's different than most coconut fragrances. It is so good though. It is so good. So to me, because of that like thick coconut, I find this to be somewhat appropriate. Although I also feel like it could be worn year round because it has this depth to it. It has this thickness to it and it is so good. And it layers really well with things. So I will say that if you enjoy saffron, like if that's a note that you love, you definitely need to get your nose on this. I've really enjoyed wearing this. I've also layered it with vanilla powder from my Tia Premier. It did what it's supposed to do, y'all. 
<laughs> there is something just so addictive about this fragrance to me right now. And although I have a ton of fragrances, my eyes just keep falling on this little blue bottle. I haven't worn it a ton, but I have worn it a few times over the past month and I've smelled it countless times. <laughs> so again, that is Blue Heart by Thamine. This next fragrance is from the brand Parlez Moi de Parfum, and this is called Mile High. So this fragrance, I took on vacation with me earlier this month, and since then I have not worn it, but since then I cannot stop smelling it. Like I just keep going to the bottle and it's giving me those scent memories, and I just really enjoy the smell of this. So I feel like this was a great one to take on vacation. So this is a pineapple scent but it also has this woodiness. The pineapple on here to me smells like a juicy pineapple. So it has that sweetness, but it also has that brightness. But then it's mixed with like a light woodiness, which to me makes this unisex, but there's still sweetness in it. So if you have smelled something like Aventus, like the regular Creed Aventus for men, or um, Hachivat from, uh, from Nishane, and you felt like those lean too masculine, this to me would be the slightly more feminine version of those because the pineapple on here is definitely juicy and sweet. It doesn't go as green as I find in those other two fragrances, but then you do get that airy woodiness to this. And it's not like a super strong fragrance, but it definitely projects. It's a nice fragrance to wear like in the open air because I feel like it really plays well on your skin in high heat. So I really enjoy wearing this. And again, like I said, I really enjoy smelling this as well because now it reminds me of my family vacation. So I will definitely continue to use this throughout the summer. I don't think I'll use it a ton though, to be completely honest though, because I wanted to keep that memory of my family vacation. Uh, but I have really been enjoying smelling this. It is amazing. So again, that is Parlez Moi de Parfum Mile High. This next fragrance is from the brand Juliet Has a Gun and this is Sunny Side Up. So this has been a long time love for me. However, I put it on my June fragrance tray and I use it a lot, y'all. I really enjoy using this. It sits normally in the back of my collection and I've had it for a while, so I don't use it a ton anymore, but I'm glad I put it on my tray because I used it a good amount this month. I had to use it probably about at least five times. I know, I've worn it alone. I've also layered this fragrance. This is a coconut and sandalwood scent, but it has a synthetic nature to it. So some of y'all are not gonna like this. This is probably, I would say it's not a safe blind buy, but right now you can get it for so cheap. Well, I don't wanna say cheap, but you can get this for probably like $45. So in that case, I feel like it's worth the risk, but it's not gonna be for everybody. This is definitely one you need to spray on your skin. If you've never smelled any of the Juliet Has a Gun fragrances, to me, they all kind of have this molecular undertone to them that gives it like this, synthetic woodiness and this definitely has that but then it's blended with this beautiful coconut and this beautiful sandalwood and once it gets on the body like it it does what it's supposed to do y'all it smells so good it's quite unique but it's beautiful perfect for summertime perfect for bedtime <laughs> perfect for layering. I just feel like you can't go wrong, especially if you don't pay full price for it. Now, I know some of y'all don't like shopping gray market sites. So I think retail, this is probably like, I don't know, maybe like $100. I really don't know, but it's still not like extremely expensive. You're not talking $300 expensive, but I feel like you just can't go wrong. I, I loved wearing this. And if my collection were smaller, I feel like I would have gone through this bottle by now. So again, that is Sunny Side Up by Juliet Has a Gun. And then this last fragrance is another one that was on my fragrance tray. And this one is another one of my favorite fragrances. Like this may be one of my top 10 fragrances at this point, but this is from Rosendo Mateau and this is number five. So I put this one on my fragrance tray just because I really wanted to wear it. <laughs> However, I would say this is probably not the ideal season for this fragrance, but y'all, I got my wares in and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So this is a deep musky scent. And when I say musk, it definitely has this bit of an animalic quality to it, but not too much in my opinion. It also has this kind of dark, like suede sweetness to it. So when I think about this, I think about a leathery, sweet, skin-like musk. And it almost kind of smells like it has this deep vanilla in it as well. 
Some people do get like rubber tires from this. I got it the first time I sprayed it. Now I don't really get that, but I can understand where people are coming from when they say that. So again, not a safe blind buy. This is quite popular, so I feel like I don't need to spend too much time on it, but y'all, I really enjoy wearing this. I think I wore this one probably about four times over the past month or so, which is not a ton, but for this type of fragrance in this type of weather, I feel like that's a lot. And I basically just wore it around my house because honestly, I feel like right now it's too hot to wear this outside, but I so enjoyed this, y'all. This is one that I just could not get enough of. And when I wasn't wearing it, I was also sniffing it <laughs> because it's just so good. There's something about this that just feels like me, y'all. It feels like me. It smells amazing. Well, highly recommend you getting your nose on this if you haven't as of yet. Not for everybody, but it's one that I absolutely love and I'm really glad that I took some time with it this month. So again, that is Rosinda Mateau number five. So I feel like this was a really short video this time around. However, all of these I thoroughly enjoy. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these fragrances, what do you think of them? And then also in the comments, if you would leave one fragrance that you have not been able to get enough of over the past month. Let us know so we can all join in on the conversation if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel i upload twice a week so i have a ton of content for you to check out also check out my website is www.simplyaisha.com get on my email list over there so that we never lose contact and if you want to connect with me more follow me on instagram and tiktok my links for my social media along with my website and the links for all the products i mentioned will be in the description box below i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye